What's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over how to create a keyword content map. This is part six of my SEO tutorial for beginners. You're going to want to watch parts four and five in order to get to this point because this continues with those two concepts. So a keyword content map, if you're not sure what it is, a keyword content map is a list of your top keywords and the corresponding pages of content for each individual keyword. So basically what you want to do is you want to take every SEO keyword that you're trying to rank for for your business and you want to map them to the page that is optimized for that keyword. So a keyword content map looks something like this. This is a basic keyword content map where you have keywords in one column, you have the total number of searches for each individual keyword over here in another column, and then you have the page that is optimized for that keyword in this column. So what it allows you to do is see pages like this where I'm not optimized for this page yet. So I see an opportunity and this is something where I can start to create content around this keyword so that I can eventually rank for it and then take advantage of some of this search volume so I can drive that traffic to my website. So that's the basics of a keyword content map. I'm going to go over how I create one and exactly what you want to do to create a really good keyword content map because it really helps you with your content strategy. Now to continue on with the example. Basically what you're doing is you're taking a keyword, something like Italian recipes, for example. So you have your website.com slash Italian recipes. So you know that this page is the page that's going to be optimized for this keyword. So when people do type this keyword into search engines like Google, hopefully you can optimize your website enough to rank high for this keyword. Now, the other thing is, let's just say you have cake recipes. So it's a completely separate URL that you're optimizing for cake recipes. And then if you have something like chicken Parmesan recipe, which would be in the category of Italian recipes, then what you have is your website slash Italian recipes slash chicken Parmesan recipe. So you know exactly which corresponding page is trying to rank for that keyword. Now, why do you create a keyword content map? Essentially what you want to do is find your most popular keywords. So in the previous video, I went over how to create keyword lists. So what you want to do is create that keyword list, and then you want to start to optimize your website content, your pages for those keywords. So I'm going to be doing this today for my website, floorjackcenter.com. Now three different tools that I would recommend using as you're creating your keyword content map. The first and the most important tool is the Google search console. So if you don't have the Google Search Console installed on your website, you want to get started by doing that because it will allow you to see your overall performance in the Google Search Engine and you're also going to be able to enter individual search terms in the Google Search Console to find the best pages for that search term. Now the other tool that I like to use is the Google Keyword Planner. So with the Keyword Planner, this is going to help you build your keyword lists. So I used the Keyword Planner in the previous video to create a keyword list and then I also used Ubersuggest. So those are the three tools that I think can be very helpful as you're creating your keyword content map. And then you can create this using either Microsoft Excel or you can create it by using Google Sheets, which is completely free. So what I'm going to do to get started is I want to go over Ubersuggest because when you come to Ubersuggest and you enter your domain here, so let's just say I enter my domain floorjackcenter.com and click on search. So you're going to see here we have our domain overview for floorjackcenter.com. Now if you click right here on organic keywords or if you click over on keyword ideas, what it's going to show you is the top keywords for your business. So you can take these keywords right here and export to a CSV file. That, so that's what I'm going to do really quick. Okay, so now we're going to open this file here. So now with Uber Suggest, what it's going to do is if I scroll down here, you're going to see it's going to pull 250 of my top keywords. So we have 250 total keywords here. And what's good about Uber Suggest is it's going to take these keywords. So we're just going to expand this right here. Keyword, we have search volume, we have our position right now, we have our estimated visits per month. And then you're also going to see a URL here. So Uber suggests will help you build your keyword map if you want to. And it's going to show you some of the keywords that you're already ranking for and then some of the best pages for those keywords. Now, what you're going to find as you do this is let's just take a keyword like this hydraulic jack for a car. The page that it's mapping to is electric car jacks. So I can see right here, this is an opportunity that I can improve on this keyword by creating a different page for hydraulic jacks and making sure I'm optimizing better for that individual keyword. Because as people type it in, what I want to do is make sure that my pages are optimized for these keywords. 
Now I've also downloaded the spreadsheet for my website beachfrontdecor.com. So I'm going to open that one real quick and you're going to see it's going to give me the same thing. It's going to show me some of my top keywords. Now what you're going to see with Uber Suggest is it's not going to show you every one of your top keywords. It's only going to pull the top 250, but I can see here I have some of these different keywords and the pages that they're optimized for. So it can be very helpful as you're building your keyword map to use Uber Suggest because all you need to do is come in here enter your website, export to CSV, and you're gonna get one of these files that I'm showing you, and allows you to see the keywords that you're ranking for, the average position you have in search results for those keywords, and then the individual page that's ranking high. So this will allow me to go to this and see some of these pages where I can continue to improve, and then maybe some things where I'm already optimized so I don't need to worry about some of these keywords for right now. So in the previous video, one of the things that I did is we're going to come over here to my spreadsheet for floorjackcenter.com is I pulled a keyword list. So I have a keyword list of over a thousand keywords that I eventually want to rank for. These are some of my top keywords for my website floorjackcenter.com. And if we just come right here, the main keywords that I really want to focus on are some of these top 50 keywords. So generally what I'll do is when I'm creating a keyword map, I'll start by focusing on some of my top 50 keywords and I have my keyword list here. So basically I don't need this page of my spreadsheet anymore. I really just want my keyword list and I want to turn it into my keyword content map. So what I'm going to do is start by adding this URL field over here. So now I have my keywords, my average monthly searches, and then I have my URL column. So I can come over here to keyword list and just delete this sheet because I have my grouped keywords that I did with my keyword research where I have a topic like carjack and then some of the top keywords related to carjacks a topic like pallet jacks and then some of those top keywords here that's going to allow me to build some of my topic clusters that's a concept that i'll go through in a follow-up video but for right now what i want to do is come over to my keyword content map i have my list of keywords here i have my average monthly searches and now what i need to do is find my corresponding urls for each of these keywords so that i can find areas of opportunity now to give you a quick example i've already done this with beachfront decor so as you're creating your keyword content map if you want to create a basic keyword content map, it's going to look something like this, where you have your keywords, your searches, and your URLs. If you want to expand it a little bit, one of the things that you can do is create something like this, where you have a different field over here, and I just have optimized. So optimized, basically what the orange color here means is I do have pages for these keywords, but it's something where I can improve. The green means I am optimized for this keyword, and then the red means I'm not optimized at all. So anywhere where I don't have a page at all, so something like folding beach chair, I really just don't have a page on my website that's optimized for that keyword. So I don't expect to rank for that keyword because I haven't created content for it yet. So the red here means this is a keyword that I can start to optimize for by beginning to create content. The orange means I already have a page of content. I just need to improve that page of content if I want to rank for this keyword. And then the green means I'm optimized. So the other thing with an expanded keyword map is you can also go through over here and add some different fields like my three months traffic, my average position in search results for this keyword. So these are different things you can also track because if you're tracking your position, you can say, okay, let me come over here to the left. And for a keyword like beach decor, maybe I'm ranking at seven right now. So I can add that to my position. Maybe this keyword drives me 100 clicks every three months that I know how much traffic I'm getting from this keyword and where I'm ranking for this keyword. And this is where the Google search console comes in handy because what we can do is we can open the Google search console. So this is my Google search console for beachfrontdecor.com. And what I can do is I can come right up to the top here. So you can see I'm in search type web date last three months. And what I can do is click here on the plus new come here to query and then queries containing and we'll do exact and I'll just do beach decor and we can click on apply. So now you're going to see over the last three months, I've driven 32 clicks from this search term and I have an average position of 17.5. So what I can do is I can come over here and I can come over to this right hand side traffic last three months, 32 clicks and then position 17.5. And this is just something that you might want to do once per quarter, just to keep track of where your website is and how you're ranking for some of your top keywords. So you know that your position is improving, your traffic over the course of three months is improving. It can be a lot of work, especially to do this manually, but as you're starting to try to rank for some of these top keywords here with all these monthly searches, there's a lot of competition in search results. So you need to make sure that you keep your pages up to date. Now, when I'm creating a keyword content map, I'm going to show you my example with floorjackcenter.com. Johnny, what I'll do is I'll just create this basic type of keyword content map, 
and I just go through each individual keyword one by one. So it can take a while to do this manually, but what it allows me to do is see where I really need to improve because after I create a keyword content map, it allows me to see some of these keywords I can start to optimize for and it will give me a ton of different content ideas for my website. And I know that as I'm creating content, I can start to rank for these keywords. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back over here. I'm gonna open Google Search Console for floorjackcenter.com. So I guess, as you can see, I don't get a ton of traffic here. So over the last three months, I've driven less than 6,000 clicks. This is a website I just recently purchased and I haven't really worked on too much. So it's something where in the future, I'm hoping to really increase these numbers. So this 5.68 thousand is something I wanna do in maybe every couple weeks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start here at the top and we're gonna click on the plus new. We're gonna do query here. And what we're gonna do is the exact, and I'm just gonna enter my top keyword carjack and we're gonna click on apply. So what you're gonna see here, zero clicks, 10 impressions, average position 24.6. If I scroll down, you're gonna see some of these different pages here. So there's really no good page on my website. So what I'll do is I'll come over here to my keyword content map URL, I'll just put none, and then I'll come over to my website. So I have floorjackcenter.com. I'm gonna go into WordPress, I open up this posts here, and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on add new. Right here under add title, I'm just gonna put floor jacks for right now because I know I don't have this page ready yet at all. You're gonna see permalink right here, so it's floorjackcenter.com slash floor jacks, and I'm gonna click on save draft. So now what I can do is I can take this URL, so I'm just gonna come right here, I'm gonna do copy link address, and we're gonna come back over to our spreadsheet, and I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna paste this URL over here. So I know this is the URL where I'm gonna start creating content for this keyword. I know right now I don't have any URL on my website, so it's a great way for me to understand the types of keywords that I need to start creating content around. Now we're gonna come down to our next keyword, floor jack. And essentially what you wanna do is just rinse and repeat this process over and over and over again for your top keywords. And essentially what I'll do is as I'm creating this, I'll start with 50 keywords, and then I'll keep coming down. I'll do my top 100 keywords, my top 200 keywords. And as I have my grouped keywords over here, so when I did my keyword research, this is my grouped keywords. What I can do is over here is copy and paste these URLs over here as well, because what I wanna do is make sure that I'm optimizing for all of these different grouped keywords, because as I create content around carjack lift, carjack stands, I know I can link these pages back to this main hub page right here. So that's a concept I'll go through in the next video, but this is essentially what you wanna do when you're creating a keyword content map. So we'll come back over here, we'll come back to the top, and I'll just take my next keyword over here, floor jack, we'll copy it, come right back over to the Google Search Console, and we'll just update this right here, click on apply. And now we're already gonna be in this pages section, so you're gonna see I have some different pages ranking over here, but the main page that seems like it's ranking, and that's gonna be well good for me is floor jack's guide. So if I open this page here, you can see it's a guide to floor jacks. Now what I probably wanna do is update this page and update this URL so it's just floor jacks, just like that and I just wanna make sure I have this content completely up to date. So if I scroll down here, you can see this is a really good page that can rank. So what I'll do is for now, I'm just gonna take this page and we're just gonna get rid of this here. We're gonna copy it. We're gonna come back over to our spreadsheet and we're gonna paste it right here. So now I have Floor Jack's guide here. So I do have a page for this keyword, but what I wanna do is make sure that I continuously improve this page and I'm probably gonna update the URL. Now, if we come back over here to the Google Search Console and you're wondering why I didn't use any of these other ones here, any of these other pages for this search term, it's because it's not geared specifically for floor jack. So floor jack versus trolley jack, essentially when people are looking up the difference, I wanna make sure they see this page here. When people are looking up floor jacks in general, I want them to see a list of floor jacks for sale. Something like this, learn how to use a floor jack. So again, that's gonna be for a keyword like how to use a floor jack. When people are looking for floor jacks, I want something like this, like a guide, that's gonna show them some of the top floor jacks for sale and the benefits of each of them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back over to our spreadsheet and we just wanna continue this process. Now this might take an hour or two to create your keyword content map, but what it's gonna do, it's gonna help you understand the areas of opportunity for your website. So every time you go through each of these keywords, you come over here to the Google Search Console, come up to the search term, copy and paste right here, click on apply, and you're gonna see there's no page here. So again, come back over, we're gonna come here, do none. And then I would do the same exact thing that I did previously where I came over here, I created a post, and for the next one, it's just gonna be for car lift. So as I'm doing this for each individual keyword, making sure I have the best possible page for these keywords, 
and then just keep my spreadsheet up to date with those pages because I'm trying to rank for these pages with a lot of search volume and it's going to take a lot of work to rank for these pages because they're really competitive keywords. But that's what you want to do is continue to do that for your keyword map. And if I come back over here, I'm just going to continue to go down this list and create this keyword content map. Now I'm just going to do this in my own time. I'm not going to do the entire video creating it, but that's all you want to do. Now, if you're not sure which keyword maps to which individual page, if you don't have that page created at all yet, then you just know you're going to have to start creating content. So this really works better the more content you create on your website. So for the example of beachfront decor, creating this keyword content map is much easier for this website because it's established. It's a website I've been working on for a while. And you can see here, I have some of these different top pages. I can already tell that I have a lot of areas of opportunity, but for something like beach theme bedroom, you can see I have the perfect page right here, beach theme bedroom ideas. Beach theme bathroom, you can see I have the perfect page right here. As I scroll down, there's just a lot of pages where I know I need to continue to optimize, even beach decor ideas. So if I create a page tomorrow, 101 beach decor ideas, that page will probably end up ranking high in search results and it's going to help me drive more and more organic traffic back to my website. So that's the ultimate goal of a keyword content map. Find your top keywords. So we did that previously by creating our keyword list. With Floor Jack Center, our keyword list was just these two columns. And now the next step is to create this keyword content map and then keep coming down this page right here. So then you can keep track of which keywords you've already optimized for that you have pages of content for and then which keywords you really need to improve upon and as you do this over and over it's going to help you continue to grow that search engine traffic back to your website because you're doing it for the top keywords now you don't want to do this as we scroll down for something where that only gets 10 searches per month you might want to in the future but for what you really want to focus on are these keywords right here your top 200 300 keywords that are getting 300 up to 60,000 average monthly searches per month, depending on your niche, your industry, what you're covering. As you continue to do this, you're going to see your search engine traffic grow, especially as you create great content. So I'm going to have some follow up videos for creating great content and making sure that you're optimizing your content for search engines. But for right now, this is really where you want to be, where you have this keyword list and then you have the pages on your website that map to these keywords. And then you want to continue to improve that over time. So this is a keyword content map. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.